Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. And it's Saturday. Slashback Saturday. This is a segment created by my good buddy Joe, the horror man, in which he picks a theme, and we watch a slasher movie based on that theme and do a short review. Now this week, it is factual slashers. That could be anything from a true story of a real-life serial killer or... Movies that are based on circumstances, or loosely based on circumstances. <laughs> uh, this week, I decided to pick Jack the Ripper. <clears throat> now, Jack the Ripper is a 1959 film, and depending on which cut of the movie you watch, runs either 80, 82 minutes or 85 minutes. Um, the UK print runs 82 minutes. The French print runs 85 minutes, and the U.S. theatrical print runs 85 minutes. Now, this was directed by Robert S. Baker and Monty Bergman. Uh, Robert S. Baker unfortunately passed away on September 30th, 2009, at the age of 92. He was responsible for 13 East Street and the Steel Key. Now, Monty Bergman... Passed away on June 14, 2006, at the age of 92. And he was responsible for Melody Club and the Hellfire Club. Now, this stars Lee Patterson as Sam Laurie. He passed away <laughs> on February the 14th, which is Valentine's Day coming up, 2007, at the age of 77. Now, he was in Death Wish 3. Chato's Land. It also stars Eddie Byrne as Inspector O'Neill. He passed away on August 21st, 1981 at the age of 70. He was in Star Wars and Sinful Davy. And Betty McDowell as Ann Ford. Now she passed away on December 31st, 1993 at the age of 69. Now she was in the original Omen and Ballad in blue. Um, a brief synopsis on this. Um, most people probably know the story behind Jack the Ripper. Um, this particular story follows a couple surgeons and a um, coroner at Mercy Hospital for Women. Um, it doesn't necessarily say that they're prostitutes, but women of a questionable virtue, I guess, are being picked off one by one by a man asking for Mary Clark. Um, this is a really, really good film. I really enjoyed it. The acting is kind of what you'd expect for a 1959 film. Um, I was actually surprised on how violent it is. Now, the difference between the three cuts of the film the UK version is 82 minutes, and of course that's cut for violence and, I, I would guess, nudity. Um, that's not that surprising. The French cut has the nudity and violence intact, and the US cut, which is my favorite cut of the film, actually has the violence and the, and the uh, nudity cut out. <clears throat> Now, a little background on Jack the Ripper, if you're not familiar with him. Um, Jack the Ripper uh, ran basically from 1888 to 1891. He was an unidentified serial killer in a largely impoverished area in and around the Whitechapel District of London. Uh, he was also called the Whitechapel Murderer and the Leather Apron. And... As far as how many people he's killed, it's unknown. They said maybe five, maybe more. Um, couldn't get really an accurate um, count on who he killed. Uh, this Blu-ray from Severn is really, really good. Uh, now, this came with the UK and the American cut. Now, when you would spend... Um, I think it was 30 bucks or more 
you guys probably watched my Black Friday haul. Well, Severn gave you a Jack the Ripper, the French cut, in this um, a cardboard sleeve. Now, the French cut, like I said, is, here's the disc. I put this behind the artwork, and, um, you know, the French cut has the nudity and the extra violence and everything like that. But all in all, this is a very good film. This is definitely a slasher, and it does predate Psycho and Peeping Tom by one year. So, the transfers are not the greatest. Um, they do give descriptions at the beginning of each, each cut, where um, the UK cut, most of the elements were lost, and they kind of had to piece it together. Uh, the American cut was on loan from the Library of Congress, I believe. And the French cut, there is an actual um, interview with the director, I believe, or the producer. I can't remember. But they are definitely worth checking out. Definitely slashers before the slasher tropes were invented. And um, yeah, I think you guys will really enjoy it. Um, don't forget to check out what Joe picked and what our theme is for next week. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.